Heyo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Potter with Grandmaster Glass, your home for glass blowing. Thanks for tuning back in. It's Friday, you know what that means, weekly glass recap. Before we get going, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We've got a lot of fire stuff to talk about this week. A lot of artists, different techniques, new things. So let's get right into it. Up first, we are talking about Harold Ludman glass, killer, killer dichro work, awesome shaping with that opal popping off on the side. We've talked about dichro prep companies, kind of like Arcadian glass, companies like that. I believe that's who he uses, but amazing, amazing work. Stays super consistent, a wide range of work seen coming out from him. Those little, little lenses almost feel like jelly, like little dews of water or something. Very awesome piece, and I love to see Harold Ludman, Ludman's work. So if you don't know, now you know. Super awesome with the Dichro. Up next, looking at Willie, that glass guy. And man, he is that guy. He stays consistent with the chameleons. That kind of is his thing. And I enjoy watching him on TikTok and on Instagram. And he stays super consistent, watching him grow and evolve. This is, I personally think, the best chameleon I've seen him make. He has really been stepping it up here lately, and I really do enjoy seeing that. So if you don't know, now you know, Willie, that glass guy. Next, we are looking at Hefe Glass Boss Man with a slapping fumed Sherlock. I always have a hard time with Sherlocks if they don't stand up. So he's got that attachment, that little ball on the side, and his fume work really just hits so hard typically if you've ever used a fume piece you kind of have to use it a few times for the color to start coming up and showing so the fact that it just hits so hard in the sunlight and just never been used really really goes to show how well he does his fume and just his whole technique so super super cool to see hefe glass next happy time glass I enjoy watching him on Instagram. He stays super, super consistent, wide range of work as well. And I had almost forgotten about 18 millimeter bowls. It's just not something I, that I use very often. And he just pulled out all the heady stops for it. So that's why I thought I'd feature it this week. I typically don't see worked joints. The top part of the bowl, I see, you know, wide range of work, but typically that, that joint down below I don't see it worked or wigwagged or anything, so the fact that that's a fully heady head-to-toe wigwagged and UV opal seven hole, I mean, he just threw down for this one, uh, and I know he did an auction for it, so that's going to be closing soon, but super, super cool to see this. Just like I said, I almost started to forget about 18 millimeter bowls, so there you go. Happy time glass. Thanks for the reminder. Looking at up next... Hick Dog and Windstar. This is crazy. So these pieces, uh, he says this is three out of four pieces that they made at DFO. And I knew about the one. I watched all the videos and I even did a video on DFO. But the fact that uh, this is, the, the Wolf is the one that I saw. The fact that they were able to pull out multiple collabs. Super, super legendary. I enjoy seeing Windstar. From where she started to where she's at now i used to see her in my local shop my local smoke shop here in town and she would do like character pieces with like rick and morty or mario zelda and so to see where she is now i i absolutely love it and so much detail so many attachments i mean there might be 50 attachments or more throughout all these pieces crazy opals i mean you just go on and on with these pieces but i just wanted to note Crazy cool that they did these pieces and that uh, I didn't know about them. So now you know too. Windstar and Hick Dog did four collabs uh, while they were together for DFO. Legend. Looking uh, up next, looking at Aaron Cardi Glass. And then we've got Abigail Cascanero. Uh, if I'm saying their names wrong, super, super sorry. These ladies are both new to me this week. Uh, and I thought I'd just take some time and feature them because these are really, really awesome. Just talking about Willie, that glass guy. Now we've got this tiny little chameleon, but micro. I mean, so much detail, the texture, 
kind of the old school fuming, whatever kind of technique she's got going on for the color uh, around the, the main base of the pendant. Really, really cool, very unique. And then this sea turtle is wild. So much that the, the shell is so realistic, so much detail going on with that pendant and to be so small. So it's one of those things where glass is magic and that's just one of those things where these just feel like magic. These are tiny microscopic and these ladies are crushing it. Both new to me, like I said. So I will leave their Instagrams down below uh, along with every artist that I feature. So definitely go give them a follow, go check them out. Up next, we are looking at Malachi's glass and boy, he does not mess around. Project Battle Cat and man, with the secret Illuminati stripes on the Panther. That's just wild. I mean, Malachi's work is bar none, so good, so unique. He's so consistent and what he represents in his artwork really goes a long way. But man, he put in the extra thought for that one. Just brings a smile to my face. One of those things where I just had to show you guys, had to show it off. Malachi's, you are a legend. Keep on keeping on. Coming up on one of the last submissions for this week, this is kind of like a uh, two-parter in a way. Uh, Quest Glass got down with a couple collabs, so he's the two-parter, but he got down with his shop mate, One Ill Glass. The guy's name uh, is O'Neill, so One One Ill O'Neill, uh, I think is why he's named that. But somebody's new to me, so I dropped a follow, and they threw down on this marble uh, collab between the two with the prep work twisted up. I can feel the good vibes, and he said this is 1.7 inches, they're shop mates, so it's just always cool to see, you know, when friends get down with collabs, I mean, there's artists where, you know, they're they're definitely cool with each other, but they just collab, and then there's artists that are like shop mates and friends and people that hang out every day, so it's awesome to see them collab and throw down. Big, big vibes on the marble, for sure. So like I said, uh, part two with this guy, uh, Quest Glass got down with uh, another collab with the one and only absolute legend, Gongster, the original Gongster, threw down with this bead. They threw it up for auction. It's got Quest Glass, it's got his prep in the middle. Uh, I would assume that maybe Quest shaped it up and then used his prep on the ends. I'm not too sure, you know, who, who made what, but I do know that is Gong's Millie's in the center. Uh, I think he made those in like 2019, something like that. But uh, yeah, they threw this up for auction, sold for 2.5K, threw down big time for it. And I always like to see the auctions. Uh, if you've watched the show, I just think it's awesome when artists take note and let the community know how much something is worth. Educating is, uh, education is power, knowledge is power. So yeah, leaving it off on this one, highlight for the week, absolute legend. So it was cool to see quest getting to throw down on these collabs and then get this one in with gong so and just like that we are wrapping up episode 26 crazy to think about really enjoying making these for you guys hopefully you're finding some value in them drop it in the comments down below which artist was your favorite this week as well what is an artist that you think i need to feature always looking for new artists i'm searching every day constantly wanting to find new artists and show you guys new things so it's all about education and wanting to share with you guys because there's just so many artists and so much that goes on in the community where it just starts to pass you by. Uh, I find new artists every single day. I'll just find somebody, I'll be like, who's this? This is somebody new to me and they'll be 40,000 followers deep. So just one of those things I'm just trying to carve my way, make this episode series for you guys, trying to educate and entertain. Hopefully I'm hitting the mark for you guys. And if I am, like, comment, and subscribe. But most importantly, Never stop evolving.